Welcome from James and Radhika at Yoga Plus Therapies in your series of Yoga Breathing and Pranayama. In this practice we're going to be looking at the second of the fire series of breathing practices called Vastrika, meaning the bellows breath. This is a little bit like the Kapalabhati breathing, but far more active. It's quite a strong breath. So it's not recommended for people that do have uh, medical issues where strong pressure practices may not be appropriate for you. So check with your doctor first before doing this practice. In this practice, we're going to be emphasizing both the inhale and the exhale. So radical just demonstrate. So you'll see it's a belly movement. The chest remains reasonably steady, but it's quite active in that you inhale actively and then exhale using the same tummy action as you do with the Kapalabhati breathing practice. It's a lot more stimulating and it can cause that lightheaded feeling much more easily if you're not used to the practice. So, it's recommended you first spend time with Kapalabhati breathing before you progress to the Bhastrika practice. And do it more so when you have, uh, feel well, fit, and don't have too many medical issues. All these more active breathings as well is recommended to be done on an empty stomach. This one especially, if you have a full tummy, it'll really be upsetting. So it's best to be done first things in the morning before breakfast or if done later in the day, make sure there's quite a space between meals and the practices. So in this practice, we're going to go through the Bastrika and we'll do it. Um, it can be done slow, medium and fast. Again, we're just going to be using a medium pace. I'd rather could be doing it for about 20 times. End of the breath, gently breathe in. Pause the breath in with the chin knotted in. Focus within the heart area. And then slowly breathing out when you're ready. Remember, if you're new to this, just do it at 10 breaths and a little bit slower. Also, um, you may find that there's a natural pause of the breath with this one. So you just come to the end and you just naturally pause the breath. This is quite a natural thing to occur. And it has a special name in yoga called Kavala Tumbaka, which means that the natural pause. This is actually one of the best pauses because it's where the mind becomes very quiet and still. So though it's an activating breath, once again, it creates that calmness at the mind. So let's continue with two more rounds. And gently breathe in. Pause the breath. Feel the awareness of energy at the heart. And when you're ready, slowly breathe out. Check that everything feels normal before proceeding to the final round. breath in, pausing, feeling
Feel that awareness of energy prana. And slowly breathing out. So you should have felt that real heating effect. It's very stimulating. So these are good practices to be done more in the cooler months of the year, not so much in the hot months. Also, if you're feeling more hot-headed or hot in the body, then you attend to more the cooling breaths and use these practices when your body is more normal temperature or running a little bit cool. So remember, these have effects on body and mind. So, so use your practices appropriately to create balance. Thanking you.